This tank of methane is connected to a bucket that is filled with the soap water and glycerin solution. The methane is pumped through the copper pipe into the bottom of the bucket. This pumping action into the liquid creates bubbles that are filled with pure methane. We can tell that these bubbles are filled with methane because if you let some of the bubbles loose, they'll begin to float up because methane itself is lighter than the air around us, which contains mostly nitrogen. This very property of methane allows us to create a tall pillar of bubbles without worrying about it falling over. Now, methane is a very flammable gas. You'd know this if you lit a candle behind a cow. If you haven't, don't. This is the very reason why our demonstrator is wearing a flame retardant jacket and safety goggles. Because methane is very flammable, we don't want to just release these bubbles. That would be dangerous. So, let's dispose of them. <laughs> Impressive. Now, for something potentially very dangerous. We've shown you that methane is a very flammable gas. Do you think it would be safe for our demonstrator to scoop a handful of the bubbles and light them on fire? Mind you, while still holding them. Like many things, there's only one way to find out. And... It looks like our demonstrator's hand is completely fine. But how? If you paid close attention, before our demonstrator grabbed the bubbles, they drenched their hand in water. This coated the hand and created a barrier of moisture. When the fire was lit, the water on the hand was vaporized, thus creating a layer of steam that protected the hand for a split second. That split second is long enough to prevent any harm to their hand. Remember, you should never try this at home. 